Hey y'all, today we're going to be doing a water marble tutorial with the new Salon Perfect Neon Pop collection. So this is what we are going to be working on. I absolutely love the way these turned out. They're so fun. They're so neon. And I haven't water marbled them forever. So I wanted to test these out for you guys and let you know how they do. And they really did very well. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. The colors I'm using are Sugar Cube, Honey Do, Honey Don't, Let's Not Coral, Mermaid of Money, Back to the Fuchsia, and Purple Pop. Then I'm just going to start building my bullseye, and I'm starting with the lime green, then the coral, then the teal, and then Purple Pop, and then the Back to the Fuchsia. And it really depends on how they're spreading in the water as to how many rings I put. I usually do about three to four rings of each color. So you do however many you want, but that's just what works for me. Then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to start drawing into the design and I'm just going to do flower petal design so I'm just going straight into the middle from the outside on one side. So I'm just going from the outside pulling into the middle, from the outside pulling into the middle and just do as many petals as you want. You need about three to four to fit on one nail. So I do about five or six so that I have enough room to decide which petals I want to use. Then I'm going to take my finger and it's primed with the white and some tape and I'm going to pick where I want to place my finger and line it up and then I'm going to dip my finger into the design. Then I'm going to blow on the polish a little bit and try and dry it up and then I'm going to use my Q-tip to clean up the entire surface of the water before pulling your finger out. It's very important you do that. Then when the surface is all clean, you can slowly pull your finger out and there is the design on the nail. Then I immediately take the tape off and it's just mostly super easy. Sorry it was a little out of camera shot, but I'm just pulling off all that tape to reveal that I barely have any polish on my skin. So I'm going to use my small brush and some acetone to clean up just the little bit of polish that ended up on my skin. And then finish everything off with your favorite top coat. I use Salon Perfect. And that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I absolutely love the way these turned out. I haven't done a water marble in so long. And I love these new neon pop colors from Salon Perfect. You've got to check them out. I'll link the unboxing video down below so you can see swatches of everything. If you get inspired by me, use the hashtag MagzieInspired on Instagram so I can see. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! So today I'm here. Ooh, oof. Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be doing a neon pop water marble with the me with the me me new 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 the new everything in here is neon my nail my shirt my lips and just keep watching just keep watching does that work like the just keep swinging Ooh, there was a little hair and it's floating up in the sky. You ever wonder how that happens? Why is it just floating? <laughs>
guess that's a lesson in gravity. Hey y'all, so today we are here for an unboxing video for the new Salon Perfect Neons. And why I'm wearing neon and neon lips. And I'm so excited for these because I loved their Neon Pop collection from last year. So they just kind of added on to it this year and added some new colors, which are really, really great. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to start off. They sent me three from last year's collection. And I know I've swatched these before last year and did all that and used them in a water marble and all that kind of stuff. But I still want to talk about them. 